Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today is a very special and exciting one because we have the Chihiros Automatic Doses. Uh, so today we're going to unbox it, we're going to install it and I'm going to give a quick review. And as you may know, on all my tanks I actually run highlights, CO2 and fertilizers. And what I like to do with the fertilizers is I like to split them up into small doses every single day so that uh, every day it's a consistent dose. But sometimes life gets real busy and I actually miss doses here and there. So today I'm very excited because the dosing pump will come in real handy. We've got the Chihiros dosing pump itself. We've got specialized uh, dosing containers and these dosing tube holders. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get unboxing. All right, box number one, we've got the Chihiros dosing pump itself. Uh, fresh off the bat though, I must say, I have noticed that this packaging feels a lot more premium. Um, it looks pretty, pretty sleek, but also just the way they've printed it. It's like nice um, etched kind of print. Uh, it feels very minimalistic and really nice. It's got the Chihiros logo on the side. Um, yeah, definitely an upgrade because uh, I've bought lights before, even the high-end Vivid lights. Uh, the packaging just, it just doesn't really feel as premium as, as this. On the back, so inside the box we have the dosing pump, we've got the power adapter, cables and a cylinder. That cylinder I think is used for calibrating uh, the doses. And then yeah, it's as with all Cheerios products, there's a app that we can download. Cool, very nice. Well, let's get to the actual unboxing. Okay, so box open, leave that there. Protection mat. Okay, so we've got the manual. Oh, what's this? Oh, install. Okay, so if you want it to kind of screw it in to your cabinet, there we go. All right, let's start off with the big boy, the pump itself. Okay. So I'm surprised it's, it's not too big. It's like my hand, it's like half, just over the size of, a bit just bigger than the size of my hand. Uh, four pumps. Got the logo. Um, so it's plastic with like a aluminium look to it. So yeah, put that on here. Uh, what else do we have here? So here is that measuring cylinder, I think. Snap it, here we go. So measuring cylinder. And let's see what else is in this box. So obviously power adapter. Uh, this is the cord, connects it to the power. Some screws and box empty and let's have a quick look at the dosing containers packaging not as fancy but uh, I can see why because it's just containers uh, so we have one two three four four bottles Okay, so here's the bottles. Uh, one thing I would note is these bottles come with like this special head. So it's, it's different to just your ordinary bottle. And uh, it's, it's extra long so that it kind of reaches all the way till the last drop of your fertilizer. We've got four bottles, two clear ones, a turquoise and a brown one. And then 
what I realized is they give you this, it's kind of hard to see right now, but this sheet kind of has all the lines with how many mils and the volume, and you're supposed to stick it yourself onto the bottles. A bit odd. I don't know why they couldn't have just printed it on the bottle. Feels like I'm sticking a screen protector on my iPhone. That's what it feels like. So there we go, there we have it all stuck on. So it goes from zero, zero mils to 450. That's probably pretty close to one whole bottle of fertilizer. All right, uh, last pack is this dosing tube holder. And what it is, is basically very nice, Kind of hanging piece that goes over your glass on your tank and then it kind of just drops the first thing. Also some info on the size of the hose. It's 10 meters long and the inner diameter is four or two mils and the outer diameter is four mils. All right, so we've got some tape. I'm quite familiar with this. Basically, it's like double-sided tape. Uh, these are the tube holders, and you get 10 meters long worth of, it's like silic silicon tubing. Just quick, I wanna have a look at this as well. Oh, wow, it's, it's quite a lot happening here. So this is what sits over there, your tank. I'm pretty sure. Then you've got like four pieces of these things that you can stick along the way on the side of your tank. And then you put all those uh, hoses separately. So that's what these four are. And I think this, and this is the exact same thing. So there's two of these, interesting. I guess it's like, if you wanna have one doser and two tanks, I guess that's what this is for. Pretty good, pretty happy with that. And for those of you that are actually wondering, this dosing tube is actually slightly different to what I have here, which is a normal airline tube. You can see the size of the hole is quite different. And to save you some troubles, I've actually tested this. and it doesn't actually fit that snug, you see. So the size of this airline tube hole is actually too big to fit into these nozzles. And you know, you could say, oh yeah, you'll just DIY the bottle and you don't need the head. Well, unfortunately, when you try and connect it up here to the main head of the doser, it's still too loose. So my recommendation is Airline tubing is a no-go. You don't want fertilizers leaking out and things not priming properly. So this is quite important. It's a very specific dimension. It's two mils inner diameter, four mils outer diameter. I don't actually know of any other ones that have such a thin and small hole. And so I personally, I think this is a must get. You can't kind of get your way around it. Whereas these bottles, uh, I feel like it's a nice to have. You don't have to have them you could easily just get a fertilized bottle and just kind of stick this straight inside and that will work too. Uh, there's also one other thing that I didn't manage to get in time, but it's on my list is these bottles, they come with a holder. Uh, it's called like dosing container holder or something. Basically it's like a little tray that kind of sits, every, uh, sits all the bottles neatly in your cabinet. And so there's no like 
way that these could just fall and leak everywhere. So other than that, everything that you see is the full kind of list of stuff that you can buy all in one go. Uh, but yeah, just to make, make sure you need this guy for sure. Okay, so just uh, quickly reading the user manual, there's not a lot to it. But one thing to really know is on the doser, the one on the left is the inlet and the one on the right is outlet. So inlet means the one that connects to your fertilizer bottle and outlet means the one that's going into your tank. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Left is inlet, right is outlet. And then one other thing is uh, it mentioned this thing. So at the back, of the fur of the dosa, there's like this ring, and that's where you put a battery. And the reason why you need a battery is uh, if there is like a power trip, or you lose power for some reason, uh, that battery will kick in and it will remember the settings and the time. So that's what that is for, and this is a very specific battery. It's the CR two O three two. And from my understanding, it is a pretty common battery. That's what it looks like. All I had to do was go to uh, Woolworths in Australia. And the fact that it's at Woolworths means you could probably buy it anyway. So pretty straightforward. Let's put that in. Pretty straightforward. Like so. There's a little lip that kind of catches it and stops it from falling out. Done. Okay, a quick look at the cabinet. It measures 90 by 45 by 70. Uh, we've got the Oase Biomaster 650 CO2R regulator at the back. And then I've actually already got a little rack for the, for the doser. Excuse the messy cabling, but uh, yeah, that's where the dose is going to go. So just in case you're wondering, at the moment for this tank, I'm dosing Aqualab's Lean Grow fertilizers. It's an all-in-one fertilizer that's quite lean. I know they also do another one for like Dutch style aquascape, so that's like, I think it's called Max Grow or something. But for this one, because it's a contest tank and I don't want the plants to grow too quickly, Lean Grow's been working really well. Plants are loving it, no algae at all. So we're only going to be needing one of these. So I'm going to transfer the bottle over. And then the remaining three, I'll just set it up, but I'm not going to add anything because I don't need anything else at the moment. Okay, so we have the fertilizer bottles set up. Um, all of the hoses connected. So the one on the left is uh, coming from the bottle and then the one on the right is going up. And then through and then coming out at the top here. So there's basically four more heads that you connect into and then they kind of just disperse. Okay, so now let's jump into the app. This is my Chihiros app, and now I'm searching for the auto doser. Here it is. Dosing pump, confirm. And I'm just gonna create a tank, because I don't actually have one at the moment for the contest. So name of the tank, 90p contest, tank. 
and then just adding the dosa in. All right, let's start the calibration process. Uh, just gonna type in the name of this fertilizer. Aqualabs Lean Grow. Okay, now we're gonna start priming. So we're just gonna hold and hold until it starts priming and stuff starts coming out. Okay, and then start calibration dose. You can see it start pushing out drops of fertilizer. And now it's asking for the exact amount of milliliters. For me, it's 3.1. Next. And then it's gonna dose again, and the target is to dose four milliliters. So now I have to pour out the previous batch and make sure that this measuring cylinder is completely dry, and then measure it again. And then after dosing the second time, it's gonna ask, was it accurate? Was it between 3.95 and 4.05 milliliters? And for me, it was around there, 4.05. And so I click yes, continue. And then now we can actually set how much mils we want to dose every single day and how often we want to dose. So for now I'm clicking in daily dose and I want to dose two and a half mils every day. And for me, I just want to dose a single, so once every single day. And then the recurrence is like, how many times a week. I'm just going with every day. You can always recalibrate. You can see it's last calibrated today, February 20. And then this interesting missed dose compensation. So I'm gonna turn that on. And that is if you've missed your schedule because of no power, it will dose at the very next opportunity. And it even shows you the battery level, which is really cool. And then the last thing is entering the volume of fertilizer within the container. And the good thing about that is it will tell you the current status and how much fertilizers you have left and you'll receive an alert when it's running low. So the volume, just type it in, 370 mils I have in the bottle right now, and then turn it on and click save. And there you go, that is channel one complete. The cool thing is, is that it even tells you that you have 148 days left with that 370 mils. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so a couple of closing thoughts to wrap up this video. Uh, there's two things that I think this dosa can be improved on. The first thing is uh, when I was priming every single dose head, when I got to the fourth one, it didn't prime properly and it couldn't suck up any liquid. And what happened was after consulting my local fish shop, uh, it appears that like the dosing head itself wasn't catching the rotor. And so uh, it wasn't picking up any, any fertilizer. And the solution was that I had to pull off the fourth doser and switch it around with the third. And long story short, a lot of force, a lot of uh, pushing and pulling and putting stuff back together, and then it worked. Um, so yeah, I was, I was quite disappointed because you would expect this stuff to work straight out the box. Uh, but yeah, now everything works fine. Maybe I just got unlucky and I just got a dud one, but hopefully every single other one out there is fine. And then the second thing that I think is kind of weird is uh, they're selling everything separately. So you buy the dosing head and then you buy the containers, then you buy the container holders and then you buy the tubing. But from my experience, you kind of need all of them anyways. Like uh, these bottles, they have specific heads 
the tubes have specific sizes and it's not like you just switch it out with any generic thing. So it would make sense if they just sold it together in one kind of package. Uh, and yeah, all in all, you're looking at about $386 AUD for everything together. And from that price point, I think it's not too bad. Uh, I've never used any uh, automatic doses before, but I've looked online and a lot of them are marine uh, doses and they're like $500 plus. Uh, and I'm just comparing all of them being same as uh, four heads. You can obviously get one head, two head, three heads, and those will obviously be cheaper. But for this purpose, I've just compared it to four heads and the Chihiros one is actually the cheapest out of all of them. So that's probably a good thing. A couple of other things that I really liked was the app. Uh, the app functionality is pretty good. It was really easy to calibrate everything and uh, I like the fact that it has so many different options to suit whatever your tank needs. So obviously there's four heads and each of these heads that have different settings that you could put on them. You could dose them once a day, once every hour or custom periods and it'll even tell you how much you have dosed throughout the day and how much you still have left for the rest of the day. It'll tell you when your bottle's running low, how many days you still have left in your bottle. Um, so that's really, really good. And then the last thing is, in general, the tubing management, they give you like these little clips to neatly organize your tubes, a little hanging dispenser over the, your tank. It's completely transparent and it's really, really nice. It's a good touch because it makes everything so much more cleaner, so much more minimal. And if you just close your cabinet doors, no one even knows that you have like this auto dose that's running in the background. It's so minimal and the way it dispenses into the water, it just looks really, really clean. So yeah, good job on that one, Chihiros. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope you, you found this video helpful. I certainly enjoyed playing around and testing out this doser. It's definitely going to help me in the future to kind of regulate my tank and dose everything properly every single day. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.